I find it crazy the amount of deaths that happen at the school that nobody brings up. The death scene that I had was awesome. It was my first time to ever die too, so I got to be like, Ugh. I got pierced from the back and just hung. It was so much fun dying. Never thought I would say those words together or that phrase, but it was a blast. We're gonna be talking about deaths. Oh no. <laughs> One of the best parts um, of Teen Wolf is you never know who's gonna die. Do you have a favorite death on Teen Wolf? Yes, I do, in fact. I <laughs> yeah. loved yeah, dying on Teen Wolf. I'm selfish. I'm going to say my death was really fun, but it's I thought one. Allison's death was handled beautifully. Let's get into it. Let's talk Allison's death. Go ahead. All right. I mean, it was very sad. It was very tragic. She defended her friends, and it was a very heroic death. I'm going to answer as Victoria. I see tremendous pride. It seriously gets me. That's really, that's really yeah. creepy, but here you go. That my daughter would stand up for everything she believes and put her life on the line, put everything at stake for the people she loves, and I'm proud of her for that. And I will kill them all for hurting her. What do you think the afterlife is like in Beacon Hills? Like, are you guys running around there doing Super stuff? Super hot. Or? <laughs> We're frolicking, I don't know. Yeah. Just yeah. a bunch of like hot dudes frolicking everywhere. With their shirts <laughs> off. Yeah. Maybe Beacon Hills is the afterlife. Death is not real death in no. Beacon Hills. Not in Jeff Davis's world, it's not real. Are you listening, Jeff Davis? 